that nightclub setting, there's a real like over-representation of happiness. And it's kind of like, you know, there's high fives and smiles, but you can really tell sometimes if you look long enough and behind that, it, it, it's just a, just a representation. So I've been thinking about that for a little while, running a surf school prior, um, and thinking how can we use this surf school uh, in some kind of positive benefit for society. I was also, before that, teaching um, kids how to swim. And they were kids from like underprivileged families in the rural area. And you know, it was that one time of the week where they felt some sense of kind of empowerment. It's like they were developing something. And I thought, maybe there's some kind of connection there. You know, Maybe there's something more happening when you get in the water. I met Grant like a couple of months later and uh, at the bar and it's a short story of it. Um, a few months after that, he yeah, had to go back home to New Zealand um, to recover from, um, from his episode. And yeah, we caught up months later and he told me about this uh, charity he wanted to start, start with, uh, Where the Party At. <laughs> where the Party At? Yeah. This, this was like while he was going through, um, going through that episode. And the essence of it was that he, um, yeah, through that time in hospital, he saw that there's all these people in hospital on first look. You see them and you go like, oh shit, you know, these, uh, these people were, you know, back back then the word would have been you know, psycho or mental. And we've since changed that stigma. Um, but then he realised, like, by, by actually talking to them and seeing how they are and, and kind of having empathy for them, he realised these are just normal people. So from that, he wanted to. Um, he wanted to yeah, do something about about mental health and make it so that other people don't have to suffer alone and uh, feel judged for it. So yeah, fast forward till today, um, it's just turned into like a whole lot of people all over Australia and the world um, creating their own communities because they've all got that in their heart. Like lots of people have it in their heart where they they just want to give. Something. Someone else to, to be okay, and it turns out that the recipe is like pretty simple. It's just talking about it, you know, the stuff that we hold in our head, and we end up forming two different personalities. We've got the one personality that's on the outside, and then this other one on the inside. And having to deal with both of them at the same time can be really confusing, and, and it makes it hard for us to kind of get through the world. But when we can talk about it, and we can remove that stigma. Just be just one person, and that's so empowering and liberating. But it's a hard thing to do, you know, because there's been so much to do for the whole of society's time, up to the world, people of society. Um, it says don't don't talk about that sort of thing. Don't talk about mental health. So breaking down that barrier is tricky, and that's kind of why one way is done the way we have. You know,